light also bends in air, although we are usually not aware of that unless the light goes through a long distance of air. Um, and w what we've done here is set up an optical situation which is going to allow us to actually see light bending in air uh, quite dramatically. And, and the setup, um, although delicate, is really quite simple. There's a, a little light bulb with a pinhole in front of it to make a point source of light. And the um, telescope mirror that the, shine, the light is shining on is carefully positioned to focus that point source of light right back on this razor blade. Um, the television camera is going to look at the mirror, if I punch it up. Um, not that, not that. There we go. Okay, I see some things are out of adjustment here. Okay, the television camera is looking right into the mirror. Um, and this razor blade is blocking the image of that point of light which the mirror is focusing onto the razor blade. Now, if I adjust the razor blade so it just ever so barely blocks that point of light which is focused on it, then the smallest amount of refraction by the air will make uh, this light uh, beam either bend to the left or right or up and down, whatever. But anyway, when it gets bent up, it'll make it over the razor blade and into the camera, uh, which visually you just see as brightness because it's not in focus. It's focused here and it just uh, floods into the camera. So what I'm going to do is adjust it so that uh, right now it's fully blocked and I'm just going to bring the razor blade down so it's just barely blocking the um, the point of light. Now at this stage is so sensitive that any um, any motion of the air is going to refract the light and make the the beam go over the razor blade. Let's see what my hands do. Okay, th there's the warmth from my hand warming up the air and causing uh, the light then to be refracted into into the uh, camera. We can see what bad breath looks like. Um, down here I have, happen to have a soldering iron which is hot. Uh, so you can see that produces quite a bit of turbulence. And finally, um, another wine glass. Um, Remember that gas that was in that aquarium, the sulfur hexafluoride? Well, I've got some bottled, and I can pour it out into the glass. Oops, a little too much. It's overflowing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Here's the empty glass. I wonder if there's any left in the bottle. Oh, it's a little windy out here. <laughs> okay, now um, that's refraction. 